Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Rensselaer County Legislature's regular meeting, and this is our presentation portion of the meeting. Good to see all of you, and don't worry about anybody singing, crying back there. We're, we're all good. So we're going to start with our first resolution. This is P39922, resolution adjourning the September 13th, 2022 legislative meeting in fond memory of the Honorable Pat Casal with um, presentations by myself and legislators Harrington, Maloney, and anybody else who'd like to join us. You want to get some of them in front of them why doesn't some of the family move down this way in front of the legislators so you guys are right in front how are you thank you all so much for coming so this is a resolution adjourning the September 13th, 2022 legislative meeting in fond memory of the Honorable Pat Cassell. Whereas it is customary for this legislative body to pay honor and respect to persons who had a great impact and influence on the citizens of this country during their time on earth. And it is with particular deep sadness that we conclude this evening's deliberations in honor of Pat M. Cassell. And whereas attendant to such duty and fully in accord with its longstanding tradition, it is the intent of this legislative body to express our sincere sorrow upon the death of Pat Casal, which occurred on Friday, the 5th day of August of the year 2022. And whereas respected and admired by all, it is the collective sense of this legislature that the life of Pat Casal be memorialized and eulogized. Whereas, Pat was born in North Adams, Massachusetts on May 14, 1935, the son of the late Frank and Margaret Casal. Pat grew up in Troy and was a 1953 graduate of LaSalle Institute. And whereas, after graduation, Pat probably served in the United States Army, 69th Infantry, and was deployed to the Korean conflict. And whereas upon his return from service, Pat married the love of his life, Mary Soldani. During this time, Pat worked as a butcher for the A&P market while he put himself through Hudson Valley Community College. Pat also worked for Nabisco Foods, service liquor and wine merchants, before opening Pat Casal's Wine and Liquor in 1980, a place where his customers became lifelong friends. Pat joined the Young Republican Club and became a committeeman. His first political seat was as a member of the Troy City Council, where he spearheaded the committee to erect Troy's famous Uncle Sam Monument and was a founder of the Troy Flag Day Parade. Pat went on to become mayor of the city of Troy, the Rensselaer County Clerk, and a New York State Assemblyman serving the 108th District from 1992 to 2006. And whereas Pat was a bipartisan public servant who would cross party lines to service the best for his constituents. <laughs> Pat was well liked by all, which was evident by the many accolades he received during his career, which included the Uncle Sam Citizen of the Year Award, the LaSalle Institute Distinguished Alumni Award, the Brunswick Lincoln Award, the Father Flanagan Award, and the Lansingburg Boys and Girls Club Frank P. Kennedy Award. And whereas Pat enjoyed traveling and seeing the world with his wife Mary 
and enjoyed many trips across the continental United States, Hawaii, Europe, and especially Italy. He received the honor of a lifetime when he met Pope John Paul II in 1996 on a trip with the New York State Italian American legislators. Why can't we get to go on a trip like that? That's pretty nice, right? Pat and Mary spent their winters in their beloved Naples, Florida home. Pat will be sorely missed, leaving behind his beloved wife of 63 years, Mary, their three children, Dan and Darlene, Lisa and Don, Frank and Carol, their 10 grandchildren, hi, Matthew, Brittany and Michael, Brent, Derek, Tyler and Eliza, Alyssa and Rick, Julia, Lisa and Corey, Leah and Patrick, and 10 great-grandchildren, Ricky, William, Annalise, Barrett, Michael, Mariana, Grace, Derek, Emmy Lou, and Donald. Oh, you guys. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Pat is also survived by his younger siblings, Robert and Rosemary, John and Beth, Kathleen and Tom, as well as many in-laws, nieces, nephews, cousins, and friends. Now there it before be it resolved that the members of the Rensselaer County Legislature adjourn this meeting in a moment of silent tribute in fond memory of our friend Pat Cassell, to reflect upon the tenure of his exemplary service fully confident that his legacy will continue in this county for many, many years to come. And be it further resolved that the clerk of the legislature transmit a copy of this resolution, suitably engrossed, to the family of Pat Cassell. I first remember Mr. Cassell as owning the liquor store in downtown Troy, like so many of us from Troy. What I love about his story is that the rest of his life seemed so purposeful. He's a gentleman from Troy who worked his way through local politics and successful in winning some very big races, as you can probably attest, right, Frank? He was elected to high office in Albany, but never forgot where he came from. I think what made him so successful was the way in which his success came to be. To Mrs. Casal, 63 years of being married is an accomplishment some can only dream about. Yet you and Pat were true sweethearts. I remember Pat coming into Dante's Pizzeria, which was my brother-in-law's pizzeria on Spring Ave. And he would come in and we would chat. He and my sister-in-law and I would talk. And he would come in with his own big insulated pizza bag that he would get his pizza <laughs> and he would put it in there and bring it home so it would be warm for Mary to eat when he got it home. Dan, Lisa, and Frank have been blessed with parents who were wonderful role models and created a life with all of these grandchildren and great-grandchildren. I remember the last time I saw Pat was at Brent's uh, swearing-in ceremony and how unbelievably proud he was to be there and to be recognized. I'd like to end by saying that we have a friend and a colleague in the legislature who has a heart as big as his father's, who is equally as passionate about helping people and wants to make a difference in our community. Our friend and our colleague, legislator Dan Cassell, I know how incredibly difficult this has been for him and for his family. So on behalf of myself and the members of the legislature, we offer our serious condolences to Mrs. Cassell and to the entire family. Thank you for allowing us to remember him in our own special way. Would anybody else, any of the other legislators, like to say something? Yeah. Um, about your uh, husband and, uh, and father. Yeah. I'm just going to tell you a quick story that we were at, uh, the, when I bought the Beverage Martin wine scale, 
um, we were getting a hard time about getting uh, the lotto machine. So my father actually finally, after going through all the hoops, uh, called your father. And uh, he, uh, it was like quarter to five. My dad's like, well, it's quarter to five. He goes, you know, maybe we'll do it tomorrow or whatever. And he goes, what are you talking about? I'm still working. They better be there. And another, nevertheless, uh, we had a lotto machine within a week. So anyways, he was a true public servant and um, was uh, committed to his community. I guess, but I, I, I've been around politics quite a while myself. Uh, I started in 1974, I think, 73. But anyway, <clears throat> I, uh, I, I asked Pat one time, I said, how do you survive this uh, political stuff? I said, you do a heck of a job. He said, and I remember to this day, he said, you may belong to a party and you get elected by your party uh, to do this job, but he said, the job you do is for everyone. And don't ever forget that, and you'll do fine. And I've been here for a number of years. I started here in, 80, in the 80s. So <laughs> I guess his advice was right. He was a hell of a guy. And if you didn't know Pat Casal and you were in politics, then you didn't know anybody. That's the fact. That's true. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, this is quite an honor. My father loved the city of Troy, Rensselaer County, and we are we miss him every day. There's a hole in our heart, and he's a very special person. And this city and county are very important to him. And I thank you for recognizing him, and so does my family. We have some um, embossed resolutions that we'd like to give out to the family. We, we can definitely make more of them for all of you if you'd like to have them. <laughs> we need to get somebody to start printing. Dan, Dan can take care of it. We'll give you more. We'll give you more. For sure. Our next resolution is P390-22. This is a resolution commending Zapala Block upon the occasion of its 100th anniversary. Uh, this is a presentation by Legislator Stahl and anybody else who would like to join us down on the floor, and I ask the family to please come down. Resolution commending Zapala Block upon the occasion of its 100th anniversary. Whereas attendant to such duty and fully in accord with its long-standing traditions, it is the intent of this legislative body to convey its com compliments and felicitations to Zapala Block upon the occasion of their 100th anniversary. And whereas on February 17th, 1921, 
29-year-old Salvatore Zappella arrived in New York City from his homeland of Rosella, Italy, aboard the Giulio Purist ship, leaving behind his wife and two children to start anew in the land of opportunity. And whereas Salvatore's first goal was to build a home to his family so his family could join him, he worked during the day in a shoe repair shop and as a boiler maker apprentice in the West Albany Train Company at night. And whereas due to his hard work and dedication, Salvatore was soon able to purchase a parcel of land in Clinton Heights. He also purchased a hand-operated block machine to manufacture the building blocks he would need to build his own home for his family. And whereas during construction, a local farmer saw the blocks and asked if he could buy some for his own barn. This is how Salvatore Zappella began manufacturing and selling concrete building blocks. And whereas soon the house was completed and Salvatore's wife, Giovanna, and their children, Nancy and Vincent, joined him in America. Their children, Sadie and Phyllis, were born here. And whereas Salvatore set up a plant alongside his home and continued to manufacture concrete blocks by hand, as new equipment evolved, so did Salvatore, from a one-at-a-time hand machine to a three-at-a-time automatic machine. He was always at the forefront of new technology and equipment. And whereas eventually in 1940, Salvatore was able to purchase a parcel of land and build a new block plant along the Hudson River in Rensselaer, New York. And whereas Salvatore's son Vincent became president of the family business when he returned from the Air Force, working alongside his brother-in-laws, Frank Cas Casatella and Ralph Viola. And whereas the business flourished and still today is boasting to be one of the oldest concrete block facilities in the Northeast. And whereas Zappella Block is currently under the direction of the third generation Ralph Viola Jr. and Tom Viola and Ralph Viola III is following the leadership succession with his brother Joe and cousin Tom. Now therefore, now therefore be it resolved that the in accordance with the tradition of the Rensselaer County Legislature to recognize those institutions and individuals who have contributed to the vitality of this community. We hereby commend Zappella Block as they celebrate their 100th anniversary and be it further resolved that the clerk of the legislative legislature is hereby directed to transmit a copy of this resolution suitably engrossed to Zappella Block. And I just want to say that as long as I've been in the city of Rensselaer, that has been an institute that has always been there, has always been there for the city. Um, the storefront, you know, people run down there to grab their rock salt and, and snow removal and stuff for everything like that. And uh, the work that they've done um, recently, the the city hall that was demolished, the berm and everything in front of that looks really nice, and I appreciate that all the you've done, and all the people in the city of Rensselaer really appreciate everything that you've done. Is there anybody else that like this? Just want to also thank uh, Ralph, uh, Tom, and their family for all they've done for the town of East Greenbush. They've contributed to the. Uh, betterment of our, our town and East Greenwich in many, many ways, including service on various boards and, and committees. Uh, we thank you so very much for all you do and all you continue to do for us in our town. Thank you, and God bless. Uh, I would like to thank everyone for recognizing our 100 years in business. And uh, we're proud to say uh, we live and worked uh, in Rensselaer County our entire lives. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I was going to say to you guys, I don't think. Thanks for coming, Frank. Good to see you. So I think we can go into the regular meeting, Tom, the Yuka family.
Okay. Okay. It is 6.06, and I'd like to call the October 11th, 2022 regular meeting of the Rensselaer County Legislature to order. Would the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Bailey. Here. Mr. Bendette. Mr. Cassell. Here. Mr. Choquette. Here. Ms. Doran. Present. Mr. Fiacco. Here. Mr. Fleming. Here. Mr. Grant. Present. Mr. Grimm. Here. Mr. Harrington. Present. Mr. Loveridge. Here. Mr. Maloney. Here. Ms. Nichols. Here. Mr. Petiri. Here. Mr. Stahl. Here. Ms. Weaver. Mr. Wysocki. Here. Mr. Zalewski. Here. Chairwoman Hoffman. Here. 17 present, two absent. Invocation, Mr. Grant. Lord, help us all to make peace with yesterday and have an open mind and heart for today. Fill us with happy thoughts and a thankful heart. Guide us into living like you with selflessness and love. And I also ask uh, that we have a moment of silence uh, in recognition of the life of uh, Jerry Weaver. Mr. Grant. Pledge of Allegiance, Mr. Grimm. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Harrington. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Presentation of petitions. On file. Presentation of communications. On file. Reports of commissions. On file. Departmental reports. On file. Reports of standing committees. On file. Local laws. Um, there, there was one that was tabled. Okay. And let's get right into the index of resolutions. G40122. G40122, resolution authorizing a contract for substance abuse prevention services and amending the 2022 Rensselaer County Adopted Budget Mental Health, introduced by legislators Grant, Loveridge, and Weaver. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. G40222. G40222, resolution authorizing agreement for employment and training services for at risk older youth Department of Employment and Training, introduced by legislators Wysocki, Batiri, and Zalewski. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 15 ayes, to abstention, Mr. Grimm and Mr. Fleming. So moved. G40322. G40322, resolution amending the 2022 Rensselaer County Adopted Budget, Department of Employment and Training, introduced by legislators Wysocki, Petiri, and Zalewski. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. G40422. G40422, resolution authorizing an agreement for banking, cash, liquid, liquidity and Treasury Consulting Bureau of Finance introduced by legislators Grant, Maloney, Weaver, Bailey, Hoffman, and Grimm. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. G40522. G40522, resolution authorizing an agreement with the New York State Family First Prevention Services and amending the 2022 Rensselaer County Adopted Budget Department of Social Services introduced by legislators Grant, Leverage, and Weaver. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. G40622. G40622, resolution authorizing a purchase for quotes for kids program and amending the 2022 Rensselaer County Adopted Budget Unified Family Services Youth Services, introduced by legislators Harrington, Cassell, and Nichols. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. G40722. G40722, resolution authorizing accepting a grant award from the New York State Office of Indigent Legal Services and amending the 2022 Rensselaer County Adopted Budget Public Defender, Conflict Defender, and County Attorney. Energy Spell Legislators Grant, Maloney, and Weaver. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. G40722, 
G40822. G40822, resolution authorizing purchase of ice control products, Bureau of Central Services, introduced by legislators Leverage, Grant, Weaver, Bailey, Hoffman, and Grimm. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. G40922. G40922, resolution author authorizing the purchase of furniture for the new Troy Senior Center, Unified Family Services Aging, introduced by legislators Choquette, Fiaco, and Fleming. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. G41022. G41022, resolution authorizing purchase of IT services related to Microsoft Exchange Migration Bureau of Central Services, introduced by legislators Leverage, Grant, Weaver, Bailey, Hoffman, and Grimm. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. G41122. G41122, resolution authorizing the purchase of equipment for snowplows, highway department, introduced by legislators Leverage, Grant, Weaver, Harrington, Bailey, and Hoffman. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. G41222. G41222, resolution authorizing the purchase of road salt, highway department, introduced by legislators Leverage, Grant, Weaver, Harrington, Bailey, and, Flet and Hoffman. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. G41322. G41322, resolution authorizing the appropriation of highway machinery fund balance and amending the 2022 Rensselaer County Adopted Budget Highway Department. Introduced by legislators Harrington, Bailey, and Fleming. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. G41422. G41422, resolution authorizing a construction contract for Pershing Ave Pavement Pro Preservation Project, Highway Department. Introduced by legislators Leverage, Grant, Weaver, Harrington, Bailey, and Fleming. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. G41522. G41522, resolution authorizing the purchase and renewal of solar wind network traffic analyzer and network performance monitor, Bureau of Research and Information Services. Introduced by legislators Leverage, Grant, Weaver, Bailey, Hoffman, and Grimm. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. G41622. G41622, resolution authorizing the purchase and installation of carpeting for the Rensselaer County Clerk's Office Buildings Department. Introduced by legislators Leverage, Grant, Weaver, Harrington, Bailey, and Fleming. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. G41722. G41722, resolution authorizing extension of the term period of a grant agreement with the New York State Office of Indigent Legal Services, Public Defender, Conflict Defender, and County Attorney. Introduced. Introduced by, um, hold on. Who's Leverage, Grant, Weaver, Harrington, Bailey, and Fleming. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. G41822. G41822, resolution approving capital construction, Gunther Enrollment Services Center, and Fitzgibbons Health Technology Center. <coughs> Renovations contract change order introduced by legislators Casal, Bendet, and Doran. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. G41922. G41922, resolution authorizing acceptance of funds from the New York State Board of Elections absentee ballot prepaid postage grant program and amending the 2022 Rensselaer County Adopted Budget Board of Elections. Introduced by legislators Bailey, Hoffman, and Grimm. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. P42022. P42022, resolution concluding the Rensselaer County annual 30 day inclusion period. Introduced by legislators Harrington, Wysocki, and Fleming. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. P42122. P42122, resolution changing date for the November 2022 meeting of the Rensselaer County Legislature. Introduced by legislators Hoffman, Leverage, Harrington, Grimm, and Doran. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. P42222. P42222, resolution commending Emily Frost upon the Achieving all American status introduced by legislators Harrington, Cassell, Maloney, Bendet, and the entire legislative body. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. P42322. P42322, resolution commending Hannah Bedoin and Andrew Kalfas upon Office. your received 
upon their achieved success and dedication to clogging. Introduced by legislators Harrington, Cassell, Maloney, and the entire legislative body. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. P42422. P42422, resolution commending the Elium Literary Club upon the occasion of its 100th anniversary. Introduced by legislators Grim, Doran, Fleming, Nichols, Weaver, Zalewski, and the entire legislative body. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. P42522. P42522, resolution designating the week of October the 2nd through the 8th, 2022 as Cornell Cooperative Extension Week and National 4-H Week introduced by legislators Wysocki, Harrington, and the entire legislative body. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. P42622. P42622, resolution recognizing Thursday, October 6, 2022 as Organ Donor Enrollment Day introduced by legislators Grimm, Grant, I'm sorry, Hoffman, Grant, Bailey, Fiaco, and the entire legislative body. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. P42722. P42722, resolution recognizing November as National Diabetes Awareness Month in Rensselaer County, introduced by legislators Hoffman and the entire, entire legislative body. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. <clears throat> P42822. P42822, resolution recognizing November 15, 2022, as National Recycling Day in Rensselaer County, introduced by legislators Grim, Doran, Flemings, Nickel. Weaver, Zalewski, and the entire legislative body. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. P42922. P42922, resolution adjourning the October 11, 2022, legislative meeting in memory of Colonel Peter K. Global, U.S. Army, retired. Introduced by legislators Harrington, Cassell, and the entire legislative body. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. G43022. G43022, resolution approving tentative settlement agreement between the County of Rensselaer and Police Pavilion Association Road Patrol, Bureau of Human Resources. Introduced by Chairwoman Hoffman. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 17 ayes. So moved. And that concludes <coughs> the index of resolutions. Uh, legislator privilege. Okay, do I have a second? second? All in favor? Aye. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night.